Good morning. Uh, good to good to uh, be with you. Um, it, it's uh, the last day of March. I, I think this is the, the longest month of March I can remember. This month of March seems like it's been about three years long. But anyway, we're we're all still here, and so uh, we're great. We're, we're thank you for thank you for being here. Um, Today I wanted to look at Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sin, in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit that is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgression. It is by grace that you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Uh, so we are we are saved by grace, and every every day that we're here is another measure of God's grace. Every day we wake up is a gift from God. Um, I, I think with current, uh, with the current uh, situa pandemic situation, I think we're more grateful than ever uh, for every day that God gives us. Um, and so we are God's handiwork created in Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So uh, God has given us this day, and God has given us this day for a purpose, uh, to, uh, to show God's love to those around us. Uh, let's pray. Dear Lord, we give you thanks for bringing us through this past month, uh, a, very, a very difficult month, uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, uh, a month in which we're having to learn uh, new ways of being church and new ways of being society. Uh, having to learn new ways to support one another, uh, being uh, together in spirit, even while we are apart uh, physically. Uh, we pray as we enter another month that your grace will continue to uh, precede us. Um, we pray that you will continue to give us, uh, that, that, that you will continue to give us new days. Uh, we give you the thanks for, we give you thanks for each new day you give us. Uh, please grant us health and healing and wholeness. Uh, please grant us deliverance from the pandemic. Please grant healing for those who have experienced it. All, th all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.